start of Ilmal. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back. Trying to remove some stitches just because we're cheap. I'm cheap. You know, uh, could pay like some money to get them removed by a nurse, but you know, shouldn't be that hard. <coughs> Only thing is that it's the stitches is like not normal stitches i don't know why but i talked with the surgeon before he went in and i, I told him i want it to be as good as possible with at least scar as possible so might be due to that and you know today we watched you know the what you call it like the journal from the surgery and what they did that day and what kind of problems they ran into and uh, first of all they cut my uh, my vein going through my shoulder so they had to fix that uh, then they understood that they uh, weren't uh, able to reattach the muscle because the muscle had ripped so they needed to do a lot of cleaning then stitch it together and uh, you know uh, later on he said that you know he wanted to keep the arm still for 14 days not even you know only reason to be moving my arm would would be to for hygiene really just to clean it and uh, now it's been 14 days and I can move the arm a little bit more than uh, they would like just because it's like general statement that it's like 14 days before uh, things start to you know everybody are at the same spot so uh, you know uh, hopefully uh, I can make the recovery time a little bit less than it uh, says in the papers because it uh, says that it takes like three months before I even can train again then it says six months before I can you know uh, say that the uh, uh, muscle is fully recovered and even then you know uh, like the surgeon said uh, it can break again so that is a problem but you know uh, it was my fault and i need to stand for it you know it's like everything else you can't you can't be a pussy about this because this is just for selfish reasons you know i want to do this for my own so it's not not that it affects anybody else than me so it is what it is but I would like it to be fully recovered as fast as possible but we will see what happens yes okay so <laughs> what we haven't done this before so <laughs> it's kind of a trial and error uh, and you know later on just pull it that was acting. Man, drag me, drag. Okay. Bara lur nu när du drar upp. Se vad som sker. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I'm just crying. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, 
Moving on. Uh, I will start some kind of diet. Just because I need something to do for the next four weeks. Because, you know, I can train a little bit of legs, but I can't put any load on my, you know, spine or anything. Because when I brace, it might be that I pull something uh, or I brace too much. And just to share pressure over it can make the stitches inside my muscle break. So I don't want to be dumb about it. So at least, you know... Uh, until February, I ain't gonna do anything like training wise. And like I said before, uh, moving weights ain't training. Training is uh, what you do to get better than have have been before. So anything I do, anything I do when I want to get better is training. Everything else is maintaining or uh, having. Uh, you know uh, some other goals uh, in mind and for now you know the goal will be get you know get back to the gym uh, look like I train again and you know uh, hopefully uh, hopefully uh, it won't take that that much time because atrophy will occur no matter what it is all already had occurred and it's just like now it's just water, but, but you know, uh, comes four more weeks, six more weeks, eight more weeks. Uh, I don't think it will be a lot of muscle left. So no matter what I do, uh, it is like studies that show that if you tra train your left arm, your right arm will... Uh, you know lose less muscle but it's mainly due to uh, glycogen levels uh, meaning that uh, if you train you need a certain amount of glycogen in your muscle atp creatine and things like that and that pulled water and by pulling water you you have the look of having a bit bigger muscle it, it won't change you know uh, the muscle itself so moving forward doing the diet until probably start of february and when that's done, uh, we'll uh, reevaluate. Reevaluate is the, the word I'm looking for. We'll reassess and see what's uh, what. What if I can start training again? At least like back and uh, probably the shoulders and arms. Probably won't train a lot of chest for the next three months. And you know, mentally getting under bar again will be probably a little bit tough but we'll see uh, what's need to be done just you know I will do it so uh, for the next month I won't do a lot of videos anything uh, I will do uh, the diet aspect of it just because uh, some people will probably a little bit curious on how to do a diet uh, how I would do a diet uh, with the variables at hand and like I said uh, the variables are that I can't train so there is no need for me to eat six times a day so for now I'm just eating uh, in a period of time uh, of four four hours each 24 hours meaning that I do a periodical fast and uh, when I eat, I eat mainly uh, proteins, fat, a little bit of carbs, uh, depending a little bit on what kind of food the rest of the family has, just because the leftovers I always eat. And there's no, <laughs> no, no reason why I shouldn't do that, because like I said, I will be in a deficit and I will, my weight will decline for the next month, no matter what I do. And I... I will do a little bit of training like legs, hamstring, glutes, quads, whatever, but uh, mainly that ain't training. So uh, I do a couple of walks and you know. Yeah. Yeah, but you can make it a little bit more than a little Okay, so she wanted to stop just because they're a little bit uh, grown into the skin. But it doesn't really matter, you need to go out anyway, so if we film it or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so if I start crying, you know why. 
And I don't know. A couple of other things I was, you know, talking about is like I really wanted to do a show this spring, and uh, one thing is that there's no Norwegian shows like uh, international shows uh, for the, this spring. I think the first show in Norway, NPC wise, is uh, in August, so that's kind of good, but. Like I said, uh, I need to uh, reevaluate and reassess everything when I uh, start getting back to the swing of things. And uh, if I, you know, dare to start training again, I, I will let you know. But for now, uh, it is what it is. <coughs> so we're removing the stitches one by one. You can see. Okay. Det er noen spaghetti der. Ok. Starting to hurt a little bit, but uh, that's that. Du kan klippe av tråden, og så kan du slippe å dra den igjen og alt da. If she cut the, uh, cut the wires and don't need to pull like a, a, feet, a foot of the wire. Yeah, to do that small thing. Okay. Uh, it looks good on camera. It's for the camera, <laughs> yeah. You think I'm to shake it like the dash? No. Uh, is, so, that tear, is that a tear I see? <laughs> no, it's not tears. It's tears, tears of joy. No, anyways, it's. Uh, one show this spring I wanted to do, uh, just because there's a lot of Norwegians. Uh, doing the show with it's a Swedish Grand Prix, so uh, I think that's far fetched because it's a late of April, and like I said, uh, doing a diet without training is gonna be difficult. Uh, I think I need about seven to eight weeks uh, to get ready, muscle wise, you know, hardness, uh, conditioning, things like that, if I'm already in shape, but. Uh, <sighs> It's um, yeah, no, I'm sticking. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <Klonere kamp, baby. laughs> yeah, okay. uh, like I said, it's a lot of Norwegian doing the show. Uh, Swedish Grand Prix, I think it is. Uh, NPC show. And I know like the fall show. Uh, the show in the fall of 2022 or well, wasn't uh, was a very good show and I think uh, I follow a couple of guys on Instagram I think it's gonna be uh, even better this spring so that would be fun uh, you know really should go there anywhere uh, anyways just to film uh, just because it's uh, one of the biggest show Amateur wise in uh, Scandinavia. One more thing, a uh, couple more thing is like, cameraman is going to get in shape. <laughs> <laughs> he promised me that he wanted to go, uh, go you know, uh, be oh, Jack and Tan. Jack and Tan this spring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, he wanted to make the best of it just because I'm on the sideline. Uh, we can put a little bit more emphasis on his, his training and his diet and uh, you know see if we can look like half decent at least <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see uh, that that could be fun you know uh, just a uh, regular guy regular Joe. guy with a beanie on and you know the medium shirt hugging the sleeves oh yeah no uh, we'll see uh, he will do his best i know that because we saw how he was uh, during my prep, so if he does something uh, on his own uh, with a set goal, I think it will be a very good success. What did you say? Yes, 
แล้วตัวเองตรงนั้นโอเค so some of those trends gonna be left inside me because we can't find find the ends <sighs> but uh, for now uh, my body weight is like down 10 kilos uh, about 22 pounds And that's a lot, but like I said, uh, I was holding a lot of water just because I need to get my strength up, and everything was, you know, moving according to plan. So uh, it will drop fast, and I will allow it to drop fast because of health reasons. And uh, you know, uh, it's no reason to be holding a lot of water if you're moving around at home doing nothing. So uh, we'll see how far down I go, just because. Uh, It will be different starting a diet or a prep uh, at the all-time low. That will be a little bit more entertaining for you guys watch watching too. So, if I start a diet at 200 pounds, uh, aiming to be you know 227 on stage, uh, that will be cool. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't know if it's doable, but uh, that would be fun. So, uh, not to bore you anymore. We're soon done here. So. As soon as she's uh, done torturing me, I'll eat a little <laughs> bit because it's soon time to eat. I haven't eaten now uh, since yesterday, nine uh, o'clock, uh, and it's you know eighteen or six a.m. p.m. It's six p.m. now at night. I don't know the p.m. a.m. Anyways. Uh, Next video probably we're gonna be uh, like me updating how I eat when I'm doing the fast, just because uh, there's a reason or uh, something that you can keep in mind when you uh, want to want to you know maintain as much muscle as possible, but on top of that losing body fat and maintaining. Whew, And we're done. And we're done. Uh, maintaining something. Anyways, uh, that was that. Now we're done. Uh, all I need to do now is uh, make it uh, clean it up again. And put some makeup on it. Put some makeup on it. <laughs> and I will apply some kind of cream later on. Uh, some, you know, zinc or uh, vitamin E or something like that. Uh, I think we have some. Tattoo. Tattoo cream uh, that might help the healing process. So that's that. Stay tuned. Uh, like I said, not a lot of videos coming out, but we'll find something. Subscribe, like.